Hey, what is up guys? It is your boy Speed here, and today we're going to be taking a look at 7.28a. So yeah, we have another mini patch here, and I just want to discuss what they're doing. <laughs> yes, they did indeed buff Outworld Devourer, the hero that, you know, <laughs> that is 30, what was it, 37% win rate? Something horrible like that. But yeah, quite a lot of changes. Um, they buffed a lot of the shards, so... Yeah, I'm interested to see what they're doing to really balance out a lot of these shards and heroes that were either too strong or not strong enough. So yeah, if you're excited for this video, smash the like button and subscribe, and let's get into it. First things first, you want to get a Game Leap sub. It's currently uh, $50 off the lifetime sub. Can you believe it, guys? So go sign up down below. It really helps support us. We create content here every day on YouTube. You might have noticed that uh, I've been creating more than one video a day. Part of it's because it's to patch, so I know there's a lot of demand for the content. But I also want to help you guys learn the game of Dota and keep up with the meta. So yeah, if you could sign up for Game Leap, I would appreciate it, and let's get into the video. So first up on the list, we have Alchemist. This is a hero that went up in win rate quite a bit. Definitely was having a lot of success. I even played it as position 5 recently. And it felt pretty good, to be honest. Like, the, the stun being a 16 second cooldown at level 1 and just being better in terms of mana cost is nice. On top of that, it was easy to get the max amount of last hits, so you would, you would farm... I don't think it was quicker, it was probably about the same. But I don't know, it just felt good in general. And the most important thing was the acid spray. The acid spray felt great. The fact that it did damage right away and more damage was very nice. So this is a bit of nerf to Alk, but I don't think it's the end of the world, to be honest. Then we have Arc Warden. This is another hero that was doing quite well. This hero was about 54% win rate. And so they're reducing its strength from 25 to 23. So yeah, I mean, funny enough, Arc Warden is one of the heroes with some of the highest base strength in Dota, so... I mean, yeah, it's definitely 40 HP, could get him killed on a laning stage, so, hmm. Some talent changes as well, 250 flux cast range at 200. Okay, at level 10, yeah, quite a few people would take this talent and fight with it, so that makes sense to me, you know? Basically what people would do, they'd max flux, they'd max their E, and then they would run around at level 6, or, or level 7, level 8, level 9, and they would show up to a lot of fights and kill a lot of people with magical damage, so okay, it's pretty reasonable. Axe, counter helix shard attack speed increased from 20 to 25. What this means is Axe's shard, um, what it is, is it gives him counter helix attacks, right? And essentially, every time you auto attack his Axe, it has the chance to proc counter helix. And it gave you just attack speed as well. It was just like a side bonus. So now you get five more of that. Still don't think it's good. Bat Rider, base movement speed increased by five? Oh, okay. That's actually a big deal, giving Bat Rider a hero that is very, you know, movement speed reliant. It's a big deal for him to get five movement speed, so I definitely expect a bit of a, a win rate increase for that. Bounty Hunter, track shard vision reduced. <laughs> yeah, I was saying it from the beginning. This is one that definitely stood out to me, and it still does. Keep that in mind. Sure, it's only 600 now. The vision is reduced. If you don't know what this means, when you track people, it gives AoE vision. Right, the shard would give a uh, vision of everyone around them. So how track normally works is it only gives vision to the person you track. But now with the shard, it, it gives AoE vision and it's really strong. It, it's so good for scouting. So yeah, this uh, this makes sense to me. Broodmother. <laughs> okay, that's funny. So the Silken Bola now does 150 damage. Still probably not going to buy it. But yeah, that makes more sense. You know, it it's... Still something I wouldn't buy, but you can root them into 150 damage, which is um, death pack damage reduced. So I guess Clanks is still good, you know? This is a hero that wasn't really buffed. I actually think he went down in win rate after the patch, but he's still one of the highest win rate heroes of the patch and in Dota. So yeah, I think this is them just saying we don't want Clanks to be that good in pubs anymore. <laughs> he like keeps being a top win rate hero so definitely a pretty big nerf two percent is is a lot in the late game enigma oof okay they really want you to take midnight pulse radius they're really trying to emphasize like hey guys please take midnight pulse radius because another two percent off on cdr all right ice wall shard increases wall legs oh wow all right honestly this is one i thought that wasn't that bad but as i said th the biggest issue with this shard is not necessarily what it does what it does is pretty cool like being able to put the shard in good places is nice, but at the same time, the biggest issue with it was just having to spend 1400 gold on an invoker, you know, and typically at the 20 minute mark, that's when you're going to be building into your BKB and, and you kind of need your BKB, so it's a bit tough. Juggernaut, Swift Slash cooldown, which is his Ags, cooldown reduced from 15 to 20, oof, and the cast range, oh god, 
Oh, okay. Oh, jeez. They really didn't want Chug to be good. Oh, oh my god. All right. These are some big nerfs. Ags, worse. Much worse. And now the, the shard also 25% worse. Jeez. Okay. <laughs> yeah, that's just bad. Keeper of the Light. Illuminate max damage increased. All right. Wow. Okay. Just straight up 25 more damage at level one. That's pretty good. Chakra Magic Mana Store increased by uh, 20 in all levels as well. And the Solar Bind cooldown was rescaled, which means it's worse at level one, but better at max, which I would say is a general buff. I would say that's a buff. So yeah, just a bunch of Coddle buffs. Even his level 10 talent, Blinding Light cooldown minus eight seconds now. That sounds like a big deal to me. I'm not exactly sure how much it impacts the hero, but these are some big buffs to Coddle. All right. I feel like this hero had potential as is. It's just a difficult hero to play. So the win rate always kind of reflects that. It's like, yeah, the hero's win rate is low because that's what, you know, people don't know what to do on like a hero when it gets changed. They don't know how to play it. They don't know how to build it. But all right. I'm, I'm curious to see how Coddle goes because I feel like this hero has potential. Kunkka, his shard tidal wave mana cost was reduced from 150 to 75. That's a big deal. And the cooldown was reduced from 16 to 14. All right. Honestly, this is a shard I was quite a bit of a fan of feel like it's okay. So yeah, I, I think there's potential buying uh, Kuka Shard. I definitely think so. All right, Legion Commander, dual shard overwhelming odd strike interval change from 1.5 to 2. The overwhelming odds first strike now happens immediately. Okay, so basically you do damage right away in the duel, but it takes longer for the second one to come out. So I'm guessing overall this is a buff because I doubt they would nerf this. I don't think it needed to be nerfed. It didn't feel broken or seem broken, so... I think uh, this is probably more ticks overall, but I'm not going to do the math. Maybe Purge can do that. Nihilism Scepter no longer causes you to take increased damage. So what this does is it would make everything in an AoE ethereal, including yourself, which made you on Leshrac take more magical damage, which is a bit sus. You know, it's kind of bad. So yeah, not good. Lifestealer, <laughs> this hero got trashed, but he got three more base damage. All right, that's pretty good. Ghoul Frenzy Slow increased by a lot. All right. 4% at le level 1. That's a big deal. It's definitely a big deal. Rage movement speed increased. All right. Hey, 3% more at max is nice. An open wood shard mana cost. All right, nah, don't buy that. Lion, mana drain shard attack speed reduction from... Oh, what the heck? All right. Uh, late game, this shard is definitely viable. Like, reducing someone's attack speed for 120 is ridiculous. I mean, they have no attack speed left, essentially. Most heroes get up to like 200 attack speed max in a game, I think. Pretty sure, yeah, it's around like 200 is like usually a high for most heroes. Unless you're like some, you know, agility or attack speed, you know, oriented hero. So <laughs> that's, I don't know. I, I think there's potential there. Late, late game though, because you still want, you want like Aether, you want Glimmer, you want Force, you might even want Axe, and then you buy this, you know? I definitely don't buy this until you at least have an Aether, otherwise it's useless. Lone Druid Savage Roar shard increased from four to five seconds so what it does is it buffs his new upgrade to savage roar which empowers allies in a 700 aoe with 20 percent movement speed and 60 attack speed for five seconds so honestly i'm still not really a huge fan of this one i guess it's okay late game like when you're like 12 slotted but you know like I, it's just weird to use savage roar to empower allies like, it, it's too much to keep track of. I, I You know, I'm, I want to be more so focused on um, just using it defensively, I think, and using it to essentially stun people in roots. So, yeah, I'm not I'm not a huge fan of that one. Next up on the list, we have Luna, Lucent Beam Shard Stun Duration. All right, making it slightly better. Lycan's level 15 talent was reduced from 10% CDR to 8%. And the other one is Shapeshift Movement Speed. All right, I still think you take the CDR, to be honest. But Sheepshoot movement speed isn't terrible, so that one I'm on the fence about. I think, yeah, I, I, we'll have to see. I'll watch him like and I'll let you guys know. Level 15 talent reduced from 3.5 arrow to 3. And the, oh, wow. Okay, so they're hard nerfing her talents. Jeez. All right, they're really nerfing. They want Marana to be a right clicker. I think this is kind of, they're not like forcing it. I'm sure Marana support is still good. It's still definitely very good. So I wouldn't shy away from Marana support, but they're kind of just saying like the zero scales too well. In, in the magical damage route, which I actually agree with. Monkey King, Shadow Tree Dance Shard cooldown increased from uh, 0.3 to 0.4. Honestly, I don't think this is the reason why the hero was doing well. It was definitely part of it, but th this makes the shard 
slightly worse but honestly you don't even have to buy the shard like i made an analysis which i think is coming out after this video i made an analysis on monkey king the guy didn't even I didn't even buy shard like and the hero still looked very good so i don't think you need it wrath of oh please be a buff wrath of nature scepter duration from three seconds max to 3.4 all right, so it's 1.2 to 1.6 minimum. That's the root duration. Uh, so basically, they're just buffing how long this thing lasts, right? And uh, they're also buffing how long it roots for at minimum. All right, I figured it out. Nyx Assassin, Impale Mana Cost or Scaled. Bit of a nerf to the zero. However, it's worse than level one, so I think this is a nerf, to be honest. But it's slightly better at max, but nah, I think that's a nerf. And Vendetta Mana... Okay, so they're just trying to nerf this hero's mana, which is, is something Nyx actually struggles with. So by clarities... If you're gonna pick Nyx, you need clarities more than ever. Ogre Magi, base damage reduced by 3, Ignite Mana Cost increased by 10. Alright, I mean, definitely a nerf, but I, I think he's fine. Hammer of Purity, ah, that thing's trash. Outworld Devourer, <laughs> here he is, boys, yeah. Is he better? 5 movement speed, alright. Arcane damage increased by 2%, alright, that's pretty good. Arcane Orb cooldown reduced by 2 seconds to level 1 and, and 1 at level 2, that's not bad. Sandy's Eclipse Radius increased by 25 at all levels, alright. And some talent buffs. Is this enough to make him viable? I don't think so. But it's a lot of buffs. Like, it's a lot of buffs. So he'll definitely go up in win rate. That's not... That's for sure, but we'll have to see. Frankly, as I've said before, I don't understand OD. It's like my least favorite hero in Dota. So, I, I don't know. I, I, you guys can... If you want to explain what this will do to OD in the comments, feel free. But I, I frankly don't understand. Obviously, it's a buff. I'm going to say it goes up. Like, my best guess, and it's a guess, is 5% win rate. All right. Venom Assassin. Phantom Assassin attack speed reduced. Ooh. 25 at level 1. And, oh, it's just 25 at all levels. Alright, that's a big nerf. 25 attack speed. Whew. Jeez. Alright. Spirit Lance Shard Illusion damage increased from 20 to 30%. Oh, that's actually pretty strong. Punch Dismember Shard now reduces cooldown by 7 always, instead of by half when used on allies. Oh, oh that's pretty strong. So now, um, you can actually dismember... Um, you just get... A constantly lower dismember cooldown so it brings it all the way down to 13 seconds if you buy the shard which definitely is pretty viable if you're like playing tanky pudge you know uh you can definitely get multiple dismembers off you, it's likely you'll stay alive for 13 seconds sleeping dark cooldown reduced from 20 to 15 honestly ricky was already doing well this patch so he didn't i feel like he didn't need a buff sleeping dart was pretty underwhelming to be honest in my opinion i, I mean it wasn't bad it's just kind of awkward it's just an awkward yeah it's just awkward <laughs> but yeah all right i mean i don't think this hero needed a buff but sure Arcane Supremacy cast range increased. All right. Bit of a Rubik buff. I feel like this hero was still all right, but I think, you know, I think his win rate was overall slightly down. Shadow Shaman, Shackle Shards, Word. Oh, okay. So they nerfed it. Shackle Shard, Word's duration reduced. Ah, it's only by one second. I, I still am a big fan of this shard. The fact that it increases Shackle range by 150 makes it viable. Like that alone makes it like viable. You know, the fact that you get 150 cast range extra on Shackles, let alone the extra, the snakes, you know? Fish bait mana cost reduced, sh fish bait cooldown reduced by, oh, by a lot, and the duration increased. All right. They must have really said that this one is hot garbage. The win rate must have been horrible on whatever stats they're looking at because, woof, that is a lot of buffs. All right. Definitely something to consider. There's a Slark video coming up, guys. It's embarrassing. Just, I guess, keep your eye out. Uh, level 10 talent increased from 15 movement speed to 20. All right. Cool. Concussive greed. Oh, wow. You get an extra 125 damage on the concussive grenade. That's pretty good. That's useful. Sure. Nether Strike Shard no longer changes cast behavior. Yeah, it was so whack, dude, watching it. Nether Strike Shard now gives two seconds of spell immunity after cast is successful. Oh, God. That is much worse. Why would you want the spell immunity after and not before? So basically, the shard gave you spell immunity before. So it essentially guaranteed you'd get your ultimate off which is like obviously very good and now it's after which is not that good sure it lets you get out which is cool i guess but at the same time just like buy a bkb you know i mean sure the costs are you know vastly different so this has some viability but i don't know psionic trap silence duration increased from 2.5 to 3 i'm assuming this is the shard right yeah i think this is a shard yeah it's the shard i don't know why they didn't, it didn't write shard but it's the shard it doesn't silence normally demon zeal shard movement speed Bonus increased from 25 to 50. Oh, so, oh, ooh, jeez. That means it's 50% more while in melee, which gives you, oh, it's only 50% more, though. I thought it was 100% more. All right, weird. So it's 50% more, so if you're melee form, you get 75 movement speed. Ooh, and 75% attack speed. That's kind of nuts. Honestly, this has, this definitely has viability. That's a lot of movement speed. Even just using this to, like, split push 
is kind of legit. What's the cooldown? Is it actually only a 14 second cooldown? Is that really what it is? Oh, that's pretty good. So what I'm going to recommend is I recommend buying like Satanic. So buy like a Morbid Mask and then you can pick this up. And honestly, using this to split push is 100% viable, I think. Like it's so much movement speed and farming capabilities. I think this is definitely viable for farming and, and being able to split up the map. Even catching up to people like it's a lot of HP you're sacrificing, but I think you can make up for it. Oh, they actually buffed this thing? I felt like it was maybe okay, but the problem is, like, when do you buy it on Timber? Timber needs a lot of items, like, he needs, like, mech and, like, Greaves and Crest and, I mean, uh, and, like, Lotus and Yules and, like, usually will you always need that next item, but, I mean, hey, if you can fit in this shard, the flamethrower DPS increased from 75 to 90 and the slow is increased by 5%. It's pretty good, honestly. Quite a buff. Defense Matrix Shield increased by 75, that's a lot, and the duration was increased. All right. It's just awkward to buy. Zero is just awkward in general. Tusk, frozen sigil movement speed increased by 30, and the shard movement speed slow increased as well. Oh, 30% slow is huge. This thing is definitely viable. It's just hard to buy on, on Tusk because he doesn't really farm very much. Zero doesn't get that much gold usually unless he's killing everybody, so it's just hard to buy this, you know? It, it's hard to buy it, but it's definitely good. It's definitely good. Vengeful spirit strength gain increased by 0.2. This hero got crushed, by the way. It was doing so bad. Wave of terror damage increased. Vengeance Aura damage increased, oh, by quite a lot, 3% on level 1, and Nether Swap cooldown reduced. Oh, that's a big buff. So this is the biggest buff out of all of them. 10 seconds less cooldown on Nether Swap at level 1 is huge. It lets you, that lets you make a lot more plays. Poison Attack Shard max stack increase from plus 2 to plus 3. Oh, wow. Oh my god, the amount of damage if you get 8 stacks of poison on someone. It's a lot of stacks, though. But if you can build this around attack speed, like the Dragonlance Glickneer build or whatever that people are doing, that can be viable. Basically, you buy, yeah, you buy Dragonlance Treads, some stats, wand, then you buy the Glickneer thing. It's pretty good. And then a BKB. It's viable. Visage, silent as the grave, no longer provides flying vision. Oh, that's a big nerf. Rip, rip. Oh, here it is. Hey, we all expected it. Oh, that's not that bad. Only 10% less? Really? This hero has been dominating. I can't believe it. All it got was a 10% nerf to its crit. I mean, it's a nerf. It's a nerf, but it's not that bad. All right, keep picking Wraith King. Static field damage reduce by 2%. Oh, jeez. That is, that is a big nerf. Like, because you have to keep in mind how many spells you're actually casting as Zeus in a fight. It can be like upwards of seven or, you know, with all the Qs you cast. That adds up. That can be like 14% less max HP, you know? That's a big, 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 big nerf, especially to the common the common skill build right now, which is maxing your Q and then taking two points in your E and then maxing Bolt. So, all right, that's the end of the 7.288 patch. Hope you guys enjoyed. Yeah, let me know in the comment section down below how you've been enjoying this patch. Personally, I've been having a ton of fun. I'm a huge fan of what Valve did. So props to them and Ice Frog and so on. Uh, but yeah, hope to see you guys in the next video and peace. And we've been waiting a lifetime for this patch. Speaking of lifetime, Game Leap is currently doing a $50 off sale on their lifetime sub. So if you're looking for thousands of videos and new daily content every day, you can get a lifetime sub for $50 off right now. This is a special we're doing for the new patch to celebrate. So click the link down below, sign up now. You won't regret it. It's quite a large discount. So I really recommend that you guys take advantage of it and I'll see you there.